against the Storm Hits version 1.1 milestone. Greetings, Viceroys. We're excited to be back with a new Against the Storm update. With the dust settling from the 1.0 release, we have been able to spend some more time working on new features and improvements. Let's start with a huge thank you to you, our community. Whether you just started playing with a 1.0 release or have been with us throughout early access, we are grateful for putting your trust in us and investing your time in Against the Storm. We appreciate all your suggestions, reports, and reviews. They help us a lot. It's been a great launch and we're excited about what the future holds. The latest update isn't as spectacular as we hoped it to be, as we spent most of our time after launch helping community members who were experiencing issues with the PC Game Pass save system, plus we had a short holiday break where we ate tons of pierogies. But now that things have settled down a bit, it's time to bring you some new features and improvements. We're talking new custom trader portraits, new event icons, new orders, new decorations, and a whole bunch of exchanges. First, let's talk about the new orders. With the recent edition of the Queen's Hand Trial QHT, mode, we've noticed that there's a slight imbalance in variety between the early orders and the later ones. And it's not just in the QHT, it's also visible in the regular mode, especially if players haven't unlocked all the content yet. Some orders don't show up if a prerequisite isn't met. So with this update, we decided to add more low-level objectives to make the early stages of a settlement a little more interesting. As always, the balance may be a little off in some places here, but this is something we will continue to work on in the future. Secondly, Trader Portraits and New Icons You may have noticed that not all traders have unique assets associated with them and most of them use the generic portrait of their species. With this update, we are replacing them with new custom illustrations, both for the merchants in your trading post and for those found in the glades. Similarly, we took a closer look at glade events and decided to replace their consequence icons with new art. In one of the upcoming updates, we'll also add new art for world events. Another visual change you may notice is a new forbidden glade icon. We changed it to make dangerous and forbidden glade icons more distinct as they were sometimes confused with each other.